Christopher Reeves. Elizabeth Blanco. Cesar Chavez. Abe Lincoln because he did many things to fight slavery. Greeks said, tell me who you admire, and I'll tell you who you are. On the My Hero website, reporters of all ages from around the world share their stories of people making a positive difference. This ever-growing internet archive celebrates the best of humanity. Since 1995, teachers in elementary, middle, high school, and even college have used the My Hero Project in their classrooms. My Hero invites you, your school or organization, to take part in this award-winning nonprofit educational website. Andrew Green is my hero because when I lost my father and my mother was nowhere to be seen, he brought me from the jungle of war. He taught me computer and internet, which has opened my eyes to the world of global friendship. My hero is Martin Luther King Jr. For millions of black Americans, Martin Luther King was the prophet who built a bridge between races. Societies like Sierra Leone should have to look forward to such form of peaceful ways to resolve strifes and conflicts. <laughs> My, My hero, hero goes to school. school. We're at Fredericksburg Academy. I'm English department chair here at Fredericksburg Academy. We tie the use of My Hero to um, a reading we do in class, which is The Once Future King. So we discuss the hero possibilities, and then they brainstorm their own heroes, and then find their own heroes. And then we spend about three days doing internet research, finding images and links and then they craft their essays and we draft them and do some peer feedback and then we upload them. What we do is you need to start with inspiration with a big question mark in the middle. You are not starting with anyone in mind. You're going to define your hero and then find your hero. I chose Friedhof Nansen because my grandmother was in Russia during the revolution and he created the Nansen passport and that allowed her to leave Russia. I chose a, a Mexican nun. She was a woman's rights activist in an era where men dominated everything. The, the My Hero site is really easy for teachers. They have it set up. Just the uploading procedure that the students follow is so clear that I did it for the first time with a room full of students and they just walked through it. Because I found it pretty awesome because you could go on a search engine and type in Peekaboo Street and my website would be up there. The My Hero website and using it brings the world into my classroom. that Gandhi, uh, due to his extraordinary work as a peace hero, deserves to be recognized. I worked my hero into my class because we were doing biography research reports. So I had them choose a book about a person that they would consider a hero and write the report on that person. After they did the paper, we decided to put it on the My Hero website. However, I also allowed them, if they didn't want to just do the paper, they could write a second essay about a personal hero. My hero is actually a young girl named Samantha Rollins, and um, I chose her because I think she inspires me to be a better person. She actually suffers from a neurological disease called Plotz disease. So just her will and ambition to carry on makes me see her as a hero. I introduced my hero to them by taking them into the computer lab with a very specific worksheet. They needed to identify uh, the different parts of the home page, the navigational buttons in particular. They had to go in and look, uh, use a search function. They had to answer a question about categories so that they would understand how the different people are categorized. The second day I took them into the computer lab, 
to do the signing process. I made sure to tell them that they had to save their stories on a floppy disk so that we could take the stories into the computer lab and have them be able to cut and paste into the My Hero Create program. What draft is this for you? Um, it's my second draft. Uh -huh. I'm just re-editing it right now. Two and a half. One. Woohoo! Oh. What's done happened? Done what happened? I just uh, uploaded a picture. They're very familiar with the internet. They're very familiar with how many people surf all over the place. And the idea that people are going to surf onto their story makes them want to do it the best they can. My hero! Back. Martha Mikhail Gorbachev, Bobby Kennedy, who's going to talk tonight. Who's my hero? St. Francis of Assisi. Why is your hero? Uh, because he understood the connection between spirituality and the environment. He understood that the way that God communicates to us most forcefully is through the fishes and the birds and the trees, and that it's a sin to destroy those things. I'm going to be showing you how I created my story about Jean-Michel Cousteau. First of all, I clicked on Create, so I'm going to register here. You need to put your name, your age, your school or organization if you're working as a group. You go back to Create, and you use your username and a password, and then click Start a New Hero. You type in their name, and then you choose a category. You click Create My Hero Story. Now, add edit paragraph. I've already typed my essay onto a file document. All I'm going to do is get the paragraph I want and highlight it. And then I would paste it. So I want to add my interviews, highlight it, and then I would paste it. After I copied all my paragraphs into the Create template, I'm going to submit them. Now click Add Edit Graphics. And then you would click Upload a New Image and find your picture. So I would want the picture of him. After you've found your picture, describe your picture. Jean-Michel Cousteau, oceanfuturesociety.org. Upload picture. After you've done that, you continue. I'm not finished yet with my work, so I'm going to be saving it so I can come back and work on it later. Slater hopes to one day go diving with her hero, Jean-Michel Cousteau. I'm going to be logging on again, and now I'm just going to check it over. So I've got all my pictures and what I want. Now that I have uploaded all five images and all five paragraphs, I'm going to add edit links. I discovered Ocean Future Society, and I'm going to highlight it, go to edit, press copy, and put it in the web address space. Now I can test my link by clicking on the blue words, and it goes to the website. After you're completely satisfied with your story, you can submit it onto the My Hero website. It might take a week or two for the My Hero staff to look over it and see if it's appropriate, but after two weeks, you can find it on the My Hero website. Now I can log on to My Hero and search for my story. And here it is. Who is your environmental hero? I'm gonna go with Jock Cousteau. He cared a lot about the ocean. I interviewed Jean-Michel Cousteau. Come on then, high five Slater. <laughs> <laughs>
he is my hero. My grandfather was strong until the day he died. He put his life in jeopardy to save other people's lives. He was a giving man. I know very much about my grandfather's life during the Holocaust. It pained him to talk about it. But I do know that he always maintained his pride of his identity. My grandfather was honest, hardworking, brave, and a great sense of humor, loved Canada, and most of all loved his family. When anyone talks about my grandfather, they only speak words of praise. That's why he is my hero. I'm Wendy Jewell and I'm a writer for uh, on the myhero.com website and I'm also a mom of a little girl in grade three and I introduced the myhero.com website to her classroom. First of all we came in and we put the, the great posters on the wall and we showed them the video. My Hero! Hello, this is Charlie McMahon and Laguna Beach for Heroes. Today we're going to be talking to a bunch of lifeguards about why they like saving people. My first year guarding, I was uh, only 15 and uh, we had eight foot sets coming in here at Laguna and uh, pulled two young children out of the surf and that's probably the only time I've been scared for my life, luckily. Do you think you're a hero? Do you think of yourself as a hero? No, I just think of myself as serving the uh, community. Mr. Mayor, who was your hero when you were nine years old? My uncle. <laughs> he was a firefighter. Then the second time you have the kids, um, you give them the package that has stories that are pulled from the website, and the kids each read excerpts, and then ask them to start thinking about their own hero. And then they come back, and they have, um, maybe they've made drawings, or they bring in pictures, and you have each of the kids get up and read what they have so far, and then other kids can ask them questions or give them different input, and then we go into the computer lab and we go to the My Hero website and the, they, you know, they go into the guest book and they laboriously type it in and everything. My hero is my dog and my dad. My hero is my dad's dad because he fought in the war. He flew the plane and he had to jump out and he broke his knee and that's how he got the Purple Heart. My hero is Jeff Cohen and because he educates people about reptiles and he is funny. Now I am thinking about becoming a naturalist and herpetologist. What says? Wow! What happened? I submitted it! Oh, this is so cool! Who's your hero? September. September, who's your hero? Oprah Winfrey, because I think that she's a, she's a woman, she's African American, she grew up in abject poverty, she was abused, and I think she shows everybody that you can do it. Think it, believe it, you can do it. Nothing is impossible if you believe. Quote from Oprah. My hero! 
Today, students and professionals from around the world share works of art that pay tribute to heroes and the characteristics of heroism on the My Hero Virtual Art Gallery. Visualize heroism. What does heroism mean to you? Is it an individual act or is it a pattern of behavior that suggests courage, risk-taking, morality, and kindness? In many ways, the history of art is the story of heroes and heroic artists who are true innovators and narrators of their time. Michelangelo's triumphant representation of man in the panel of God creating Adam on the Sistine Chapel is clearly heroic. The ancient cave paintings by early man dating back to 15,000 BC pay tribute to the animals they hunted, which provided sustenance and therefore helped them to survive. Pablo Picasso's mural-sized anti-war painting, Guernica, represents the horror of war in the 20th century and the hope that mankind might learn not to repeat this senseless tragedy. This photograph by Margaret Burke White is a portrait of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi suggested that she needed to spend time with him in order to truly understand his cause and his purpose. After a week of being with Gandhi, seeing his life, Margaret Burke White was able to take this portrait of Gandhi where he's shown spinning cloth, which was India's way of becoming independent from Great Britain. The My Hero Gallery hosts artwork by established artists such as photojournalist Dan Eldon, illustrations by Doug Miller, and paintings by peacemaker hero Ron Kovic. For many years, Ron Kovic has been celebrated on My Hero for his devotion to peace. Ron Kovic's art has played an important part in his remarkable journey from Vietnam War veteran to contemporary hero. Students in Sierra Leone have also been accessing the My Hero Virtual Art Gallery. This piece, which is by Ahmed Lavalli, is about the disarming of the neighborhood by the UN peacekeeping force. The My Hero Project, from my own point of view, I see it very unique. It links people, because first, from Sierra Leone, we have Alex. So um, I knew him, then through him, it came to my coordinator, Andrew Benson Green. Then through Andrew Benson Green, I've also come in the My Hero Project, because I choose Bill Bell as my hero, and one student chose me as a hero. Maybe somebody may be ignorant about some hero, maybe in Africa, or maybe in India, the My Hero helps us to know different heroes around the world. My hero is Rashid Peters. I admire Rashid for his dedication in music. He has composed several songs, including Child Soldiers Have Suffered So Much, to promote the rights of children used in armed conflict. I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa, and I'm here to represent the Child Soldiers Project so that Child Soldiers can voice out their opinion that the world will see the human rights abuse in Sierra Leone, that there will be a change. This is the Ayan Sierra Leone Center, and we have been part of several international events. But my Hero Project has also given us an opportunity to voice our ideas on the world issues, especially those we admire. It is vital that our young people participate in this online project that enable them to think about the values of human rights. And we are thankful to My Hero Project for giving us this opportunity to make a difference. My Hero works with other nonprofit organizations to bridge the digital divide. My Hero is freely accessible and provides people of all ages with a venue and the tools to publish their own hero stories online. The My Hero Teachers Room includes lesson plans, calendars, and more. We encourage teachers to exchange ideas about the ways in which they've integrated My Hero into their classroom. On My Hero's virtual library, visitors discover and suggest books about heroes and heroism. My Hero is also online in Spanish. Visit mihéroe.org.
My Hero invites visitors of all ages to create web pages with text, images, links, original art, digital media, and short films about heroes who inspire them. Donations from individuals, corporations, and foundations keep this website commercial free and accessible to children from all over the world. We welcome your support. For more information, visit the My Hero website at www.myhero.com. We don't wanna wanna see you, I'm fighting in the war. We don't wanna wanna see you, I'm a child soldier. Night of nation, your attention. We call on you for protection, as in protection of the young belligerent. We promise to be very good at school. United Nation, come and take us to school. Rob UFP, come and give us some food. We promise to be very good at school. We promise to be very good at school. Hey. Wanna wanna see I'm a war in Africa, we don't wanna wanna see And the problem and we are we don't wanna wanna see I'ma fight and we are eight Raise your hand if you wanna know what Shake your body if you wanna know what Shake your body if you wanna know what Shake your body if you